Hi there everyone, it is currently the 30th of December 2011. We're continuing to watch Tropical Cyclone Thane here this morning. It did move onshore across southern India about 120 kilometers towards the south of Chennai, bringing heavy rain showers out in that region. Also many reports of power outages, localized flooding, and I did hear some reports of also a lot of the planes and trains being delayed in the area. So any travel plans across southern India definitely will be affected across the region today. Still no reports of any casualties and also lacking reports of damage out of this area hopefully we don't get too many reports of those but the, given the severity of this storm it is about the equivalent of a weak typhoon would not be surprised if there is at least some sort of damage that comes out of this system and we'll probably get those reports throughout the day today as the sun continues to come up in this region and also looking down here towards the southern indian ocean we have tropical cyclone four out there good news with that moving away here towards the southwest away from all land areas uh really only going to be seeing some high swells out in diego garcia that's the closest land mass to this storm but otherwise not really affecting anybody so that's all we're going to mention about that and lastly it looks like philippines and mindanao going to be seeing some heavy rain showers over the weekend and into the new year due to another area of low pressure but first let's zoom in on the radar imagery out of tropical cyclone thane here now this is the current imagery at approximate 05 zulu right now the center of the storm is definitely over land here actually you can see kind of the remnants of the eye here just towards the southwest of a Cherry here i really do uh, apologize if i'm pronouncing that city wrong but at this time, though, it looks like the eye wall, or at least the remnants of it, still bring in high winds impacting the entire region right in here. And also continuing to see heavy rain bands moving onshore as that moisture continues to wrap around out of the Bay of Bengal and pushing onshore. So even though the storm is already over land, even the coastlines are going to continue to see heavy and significant rain showers throughout the day today, producing potentially some localized flooding across the Chennai here and also extending down towards the And if we zoom out and look at the visible imagery out of this city, System. This is taken about 04 Zulu, so about an hour ago, continuing to see that moisture being pushed out of the Bay of Bengal here, all the way down towards Sri Lanka, and that's what's actually coming in onshore here towards Chennai. Actually, it's Chennai right in this bay right here, and that is going to continue to bring rain showers. But good news is that the terrain over southern India and also the dryness of the air should weaken the storm rather rapidly over the next 12 to 24 hours as this continues to push onshore. So the rejuvenation of the storm possibly on the Arabian Sea looks kind of limited at this time. But here is the uh, forecast from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. They're actually expecting the storm to weaken rapidly. So in about 24 hours, all the way down to about 20 knots gusting up to 30 knots for the max winds. And also overall, dry air is definitely expected to be flowing into the storm and causes the weaken as well. And actually, if we look at the model consensus on the intensity of this from wind.mit.edu here, you can see that all the models expecting a rapid decrease in intensity over the next 24 hours, basically at least dropping down to tropical storm strength or below tropical storm strength down to tropical depression equivalent strength by about 48 hours out here that's all these models here on the top right of this graph as well so that's something to note expecting a rapid decrease in the system with that dry air influx going into it so at least the people the west side of the subcontinent here definitely you're not going to see rainfall totals anywhere near of what people are seeing on the east side which is adding up to about 300 meters to 400 millimeters of rainfall total in some locations right now to air is south of Chennai. So that's all we're going to talk about that cyclone for right now. Please check our update from a Zero Z this morning. Our partner at 28storms.com also posted a video update on that cyclone as well. But here, let's pull back and look over towards the Western Pacific, specifically the Southern Philippines. And we were talking about this possible area developing low pressure towards the southeast of Mindanao, actually off towards the southwest of Palau, that could be affecting Mindanao this weekend. Well, looks like that is really going to be the case right now. You have this widespread area of energy starting to move onshore today and that could affect some of the people down there that are still recovering from tropical storm washi and as we look at the gfs model precipitation outlook here you continue to see that moisture and all that energy kind of linger over mindanao into the weekend and then definitely into the new year and it really the kind of putting salt into the wound it looks like it's going to continue to linger over northern mindanao and southern Visayas. so over the weekend and into monday and tuesday those afternoon especially and in the evening rain showers look like they could be fairly intense and some of those devastated areas out there and definitely as I stated salt into the wound looks like the death toll is above 1200 at this time.
this time. Still over a thousand people continuing to be missing out here, and the recover efforts are absolutely still ongoing here across the southern Philippines. And here's just a look at the streamline analysis. I haven't actually used one of these in a while out here, but this is just gauging the positive vorticity over that area here across the southern Philippines. All these areas in yellow. Well, that means that more upward vertical motion is also going to support more convective activity, which is going to increase the likelihood of heavy rainfall here over the weekend. So just another look at this potential for heavy rainfall here in the next couple days. But that is all for now, everyone. Thanks again for watching here at WesternPacificWeather.com. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them in the comment box below. And also, if you have any reports, any photos, or videos out here across the region, please share them with us as well. Please actually share them at the website. You can't post links to YouTube, so if you just post them in the comment box at the website, I'll make sure to try to work them into the updates here as well. But thanks again, everybody. Please stay safe out there and have a good day.